Yep. The damn bamboos are coming! The damn bamboos are coming! Yay! The damn bamboos are coming! This one I see! My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Hey, silly goose. Quit your gawking and move your caboose. Yep. Ready, Granny? Ready for what? For making Zap Apple Jam. Darn tootin'. It's time for some good old-fashioned Zap Apple Jammin'. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait, ma'am. Wait for what? To make Zap Apple Jam with you. Of course. Now I've been doing this ever since I was a little pony. So be warned, pickle pear. There's a whole mess of steps in this process, and you got to get each one of them just right for no zap apple jam. Take this. Uh, is this one of your gazillion secret herbal ingredients for the zap apple jam? That there's a broom. Now get sweeping, pipsqueak. Now while you sweep, I'll get to uh, okay, there's something here. Oh, pony feathers. Well, I'd forget my mane if it wasn't attached to my head. There's the zap apple leaf. Right on schedule. <laughs> well, how did you do there, filthy rich? Hello, Mrs. Smith. Did I hear right that there's a zap apple harvest coming in a few days? Four days, to be exact. Excellent news. And as usual, I get your first hundred jobs. Of course, filthy. Uh, I prefer rich. Oh, and how is your poppy green? Oh, you poor, poor thing. Having to make all that zap apple jam with Granny Smith. Actually, I've been looking forward to making zap apple jam for years. I'm not talking about the jam. I'm talking about Granny Smith. You must be so embarrassed. Help her! Uh, what do you mean? You know, with all her silly ways, how she forgets things and makes you wear these ridiculous costumes. Granny said that the water needs... Thank goodness you're here on the farm and not in town where every pony could see you. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Silly wives? Thank you, kindly pickle me! Shake a leg there, Slowpoke. We got a gaggle's worth of goods together before the harvest. Come on! Can make zap apple jam. Whoop dee hoo! Gathering my goodies now. Whoop dee hoo! Singing and dancing. Hee hee hoo! Pink penny blue, my darling. Get your feet from rag to you, Steve. Hey, you bite it, you bite it. Oh, you've all been busy little bees, haven't you? <laughs> Granny, isn't there a less silly way to get the honey? <gasps> oh, isn't this just precious? Please stop. And it is perfect for making our zap apple jam. Stop it, Granny. <laughs> Those ponies over there are watching me. What? Are those fillies 
your friends. Hello, Pat Pond's friends. Hi, Granny Smith. Hi, Half Pints. <laughs> what dolls? Why, when I was little, ponies didn't come that pretty. Are we done shopping, Granny? Because I'd like to get back to the farm fast. All done, Smelly Belly. I got my honey gooey goo, got my honey gooey ooh, got my honey hilly And by capturing the wholesale market, purchasing in bulk, and slashing our prices, we undermine every other gift market in town. And that's how Rich's Barnyard Bargains became the cornerstone of retail in Ponyville. Well... Thank you, Mr. Filthy. I mean, Mr. Rich. What a wonderful day of sharing. And thank you for being a part of Family Appreciation Day. Now, uh, let's see who'll be bringing in a family member for next Monday's Family Appreciation Day. Um, oh, Apple Bloom. But, Miss Cheerily, Monday is Zap Apple Harvest Day, and Applejack and Big Macintosh will be too busy to come and speak. Well, is there any pony else in your family that could... Miss Shirley, Apple Bloom's Granny Smith isn't working harvest. She could come. Oh, but, uh, no, that wouldn't... That's a splendid idea, Diamond Tiara. Apple Bloom, you shall bring in Granny Smith on Monday. Have a great weekend, every pony. Granny Smith? Come Monday... I'll be the laughing stock of Ponyville! I'm sorry, Apple Bloom. I already told you that we just can't take a break from harvest to come to your school. You know what'll happen. I know. After the fifth day, the zap apples disappear. Sorry, Apple Bloom, but don't you fret. Granny Smith's got no shortage of entertaining stories to tell. I know. That's what I'm worried about. I'll be embarrassed, shamed, disgraced, mortified, humiliated. What are you, a dictionary? Snap out of it. We're here to help you. After all, we are the Cutie Mark Crusaders. We'll figure out a way to postpone your presentation. Oh, all this worry is making me sick. Sick? That's it. Come on! And hunt! Now listen here, troops. I don't want any whining or crying or cracking under pressure. Do I make myself clear? Bloom, you have to look sick. Ah! Hey, look at clock! What in the hay seat is going on in there, silly Billy? Oh, Granny Smith, we were just about to come get you. Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Now what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! That's the fourth sign! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
initiation day, so let's move harvest day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zap apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Day, we are pleased to welcome Granny Smith. Um, Apple Bloom, is Granny Smith here? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Cheerley, but she got called out of town on account of a family emergency. Well, howdy, my little ponies! <laughs> That's right. 
was my little ponies. Me and my family were pilgrim pony folk back when I was a little filly. Oh, we ventured far and wide, collecting new seeds and selling the old. But my pa was the finest seed collector in all Equestria. Then one day, the Smith family found themselves in the most brilliant, most grand, most magnificent of all cities. A place called Canterlot. Why, I bet your hooks to hindquarters that I have never seen anything like it before nor since. And as if the beauty of that city wasn't enough, suddenly she appeared. Princess Celestia, the most regal of all hopes. When lo and behold, she stopped to look at my pa's seed collection. Then Princess Celestia saw that we were Plum Tucker and hankering to find our forever home. And being the royal princess and all, she knew exactly the place for us to lay down our stakes. My pa gave the princess a mighty thanks. We quickly found that land near the Everfree Forest, and we built our first home. Next, we planted our first orchard. But an orchard don't grow overnight, and we were getting mighty short on food. Now, mind you, we were cautioned about the forest, and we knew that it was not fit to enter. But I knew if there was critters living there, there must be something to eat. It was dark and musty, and I won't lie, it was scary. But every inch was covered in plant life, and before I knew it wasn't, I was standing in front of the most incredible... Apple trees! I have never seen anything that bore this kind of colorful fruit. Oh, I started picking apples quick as a whip. I turned, and there before me stood the timber wolves. I've never run so fast in my life. I did the only thing I could have think of. My pa and I planted those special apple seeds, and before our eyes, they grew like wildfire. While we had full-grown trees faster than you could say, look at his bread. Then each year, I pay close attention to the signs of the Zap Apple special harvesting times, how the weather affects the ever-free forest, how the timber wolves howl when the Zap Apples first start growing, and how they zapped away if you didn't pick them all in one day. And the fruits of our labor were the best fruit we ever tasted. Soon enough, I was mixing up batches of Zap Apple jam. Just like harvesting the zap apples had its special rules, so did making zap apple jam. I learned that you gotta be extra friendly with the bees, otherwise their honey won't taste right as sweet to mix in with the zap apples. Who'd have thought that glass jars needed talking to? Or that zap apples like pink polka dots. But magic is as magic does, just funny that way. Then ponies started coming to our farm from far and wide just to get a taste of my zap apple jam. Some even decided to stay, like stinking rich, Diamond Tiara's great grandfather. Matter of fact, the first thing he ever sold was my zap apple jam. And before we knew it, we had ourselves a nice little town, bustling with all kinds of ponies. And that is how Ponyville was founded. Thank you, kind of little ponies. Oh, now, now, let's settle down. So if it weren't for you and the Zap Apples, Ponyville wouldn't even exist? Darn tootin', little filly. If it weren't for my Granny Smith, your daddy wouldn't have barnyard bargains. <laughs> but she's just a kooky old lady. She is the most amazing pony in all Ponyville. I think this is the best Zap Apple Jam I've tasted yet. Must
us because you had something to do with it, Apple Bloom. You betcha, Apple Bloom is one humdinger of a Zap Apple Jammer. I am? So I take it Family Appreciation Day went well? Did it? My Granny Smith is super special. I just forgot that for a little while. Oh, don't fret. I forget things all the time. Now, I'll get you. Uh, yeah, something. Oh. Who wants to help Granny sing to the water? We do, we do! <laughs> Diamond Tiara? But, Dad! <laughs> <laughs>